Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be reviewing Love Triangle, How Trigonometry Shapes the World by Matt Parker. So a love triangle is when you are 16 years old and you have a crush on boy one, but boy one is friends with boy two who has a crush on you and you now need to spend the entirety of fourth period English class in 10th grade discussing the situation with your friends. Now if you add a dystopian government you have the plot of every single YA novel I read between the ages of 14 and 18. Bonus points if the girl is then forced to pick between two boys, one kind of being the good boy and one being the edgy bad boy. But Matt Parker in Love Triangle is not referring to that type of love triangle, but the fact that he loves triangles. And he loves triangles because triangles are everywhere. And he shows through this book that triangles truly underpin a lot of what makes up modern society. So this is a pop math book. Matt Parker is what I would call a math educator or a math communicator. He talks about math and breaks down math concepts to the lay public, to people who don't have specialized math knowledge. And I really enjoy books like this because I love math. I received my undergraduate degree in math. I say undergraduate as though I went on and got a graduate degree. I received the only degree I have right now in mathematics. I love it. I loved every second, most seconds of my math degree. And so I really enjoy reading books like this where Matt Parker breaks down a concept like triangles, which may seem to be pretty basic, something we all learned in kindergarten, and makes it accessible to everyone else. And I really, really appreciated this book. So the author, Matt Parker, has written a lot of other books. He's written Humble Pie, which I want to read, and Things to Make and Do in the Fourth Dimension, which I swore I've read before but wasn't marked off my to-read list. So he has some background in communicating these ideas, and in Love Triangle, he tackles triangles. He starts with just the very, very simple shape. What is a triangle? It's what we all know. Some basic properties. Probably all of us have been uh, acquainted or we've been forced to memorize Pythagorean theorem, and that is probably one of the, the key things that many of us remember from math, but he goes on to explain how triangles and these properties of triangles are very unique and show up again and again throughout our world. They show up in the different shapes that are possible from the, the dice that we roll on tabletop games to different signs and how we can use triangles to then apply to things like math in things like vanishing perspective, also global positioning service, the way we measure things, how you can tell how far you are from maybe say the horizon or how big around the earth is. Triangles appear again and again and again. And the author is just taking this book to explore his passion for triangles and the way that it shows up in the world. I really appreciated this book because the author walked through these concepts in a way that was logical and started from the most basic and moved all the way up to Fourier transforms, which I hope I'm saying that name correctly, but it's actually something that I didn't, um, I was not familiarized with until I got to college. So the author is really starting with very basic concepts like triangles, something we all probably learned in either preschool or kindergarten when we had that that sheet on the wall with all the shapes we were supposed to know, and works all the way up to concepts that the lay public who probably stopped taking specialized math courses somewhere in their high school career would never be exposed to. And I really appreciate that the author was able to do this with a lot of humor as well, and the book is full of illustrations. I think some math books make the mistake of not including lots of illustrations and even as someone who received a degree in math it was very helpful to visualize a lot of what I was seeing so I really appreciated when my textbooks were full of more of um oh good my neighbor just watched me film the first half of this book review first half of this um when my textbook was full of uh different um different illustrations so I appreciate all of the illustrations in this book and he goes through things like the way that computers were used to calculate. And there are some uh, diagrams, but don't be scared off. The author takes uh, quite a good amount of time to explain them. So for this book, it is written for the lay public, someone who doesn't have a lot of specialized math. I've already been over that. However, the um, handhold value, if I could ascribe it, is probably around a four out of 10. So if we think of one as being someone, written for someone who hates math, someone who does not like math, someone who's very annoyed with math and isn't very intrigued um, or interested in math at all, one, is to, one would be a book that's trying to get you interested in mathematics. A 10 would be written for someone with specialized knowledge and 
is very, very familiar with the content. So this is probably somewhere around a four or a five. It's written for someone who um, maybe remembers some math from high school and is not daunted by equations. I would say that's the key thing. So the author doesn't quite hold your hand through all of the equations and is expecting you to pick up on things, but doesn't move, move so fast that if you don't remember everything from high school, you can't keep up. I think the author also intersperses a lot of jokes and humor throughout it that keeps someone entertained who might not otherwise be entertained by mathematics because admittedly it is kind of a dry subject for some people and keeping someone's interest in triangles for a rather large book is definitely something that is um, difficult to do, I think most people would would admit. The the path that the author takes, and he m mentions this in the conclusion, is first starting with triangles, then moving to geometry, then trigonometry, a word that is, I'm sure, quite triggering <laughs> for some people, remembering their trigonometry course, and then moving to sine waves, which sounds quite complicated, but he does explain the path to get there because he wants to talk about Fourier analysis, which is the final section of this book. I think it's quite accessible, and I think if you enjoy math, popular mathematics, this could be a very interesting book for you to read. I think the author definitely has a skill in explaining math to the lay person, which is interesting. Um, I think the um, the skill of explaining math is different from the skill of doing like the, the research side of math or, or doing high level mathematics. And some people have both skills, but I think having the skill to explain mathematics to someone who maybe hasn't interacted with it in a while or doesn't see the use of it is a different, definitely a different skill in and of itself. And Matt Parker has shown through this book that he has that skill. And so if you're looking for an interesting book that's kind of a popular mathematics, I would recommend Love Triangle. I think it was a very fascinating read and I think you may enjoy it as well. If you've read this book, have any thoughts or comments on this book, please leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.